Hello, it's Phil, the Worship Survival Guy. Groundhog Day reminds me of things that happen over and over again. At Standing Stone Ministry, we see a repeated loop of local churches who traumatize their servants. And an apology? That's as rare as a ribeye that's still out grazing in yon field. There are disciples watching this video today who are so discouraged by their experience that they avoid returning to a local church. If that's you, I'm so sorry. Saint, you read your Bible. You heard the call. You prepared yourself. You stepped up to the plate obediently. But we, we treated you like Joseph's brothers. Shamefully, please forgive us. There's no excuse. Some of you were pastors, and we let clueless, sometimes cruel board members demoralize you. You arrived as a shepherd. We treated you like a hireling. Some of you were staff members, and we placed you under the spiritual authority of preachers who did not pastor you. We raved about their expository sermons, and all the while during the week, they were killing you by a thousand little cuts. We were wrong. The budget got tight, and we manufactured some vague problems that you had, and then we asked you to resign. We wanted to put on a good public face. Sometimes we actually bribed you with the promise of a severance package if you kept your mouth shut. God forgive us. When you tried to move on, I know of times that we gave toxic references and made it impossible for you to move on. If we were like the businesses that we say we're modeling, we'd be swimming in HR lawsuits. I've seen your family stressed to the point of divorce and then isolated like lepers. Administrative assistants who were the voices, the faces of their churches for years and then they needed us, but we were strangely missing in action. Please forgive us. I've seen us pander to elite critics who had a nuanced eye and were able to pick out those little things that were wrong with you and make it a big thing. We gave in to Salome's request. And then we asked your family, how are you doing? I know committees that have met for weeks to craft one document that was engineered to crush your soul. I've read those letters. They're all whitewashed in Bible verses, and they're signed in Jesus' name, don't you know? It's just hateful. There's no excuses for that. I'm so sorry. We told you you failed your calling. You did not. We demeaned the gifts that God gave you. They were beautiful. Only He knows the damage we've done to you. And to apologize to you, we really need to apologize to Him. You see, the Lord brought you as a gift to us, but we threw you back in his face like you were defective merchandise. Why would we do those awful things? Jesus' bride should never act like that. I'm so sorry. You deserve an explanation, and I can only offer what's obvious. We're redeemed, but we're sinners. We've made bad decisions along with the good ones. I actually believe that we have force-fed worldliness into the church, and I'm not talking about worship styles or coffee bars. I'm talking about non-biblical leadership styles, business, military, king of the hill stuff, maybe good things to learn, but we're not called to be CEOs, tacticians, and certainly not called to be schoolyard bullies. The flock of God is to be shepherded. We're a family. One hope remains, and he's King Jesus. His promises are always yes and amen, and he has pledged that the gates of hell will never prevail against us, in spite of us. Some need to forward this video on for a variety of reasons, and others could use a shoulder to lean on right about now, and Standing Stone is there for you. No charge, safe, confidential. Hey, that's different, huh? From the link below, I'm just a few clicks away. 
If you're a wounded leader, you might just be God's secret weapon. With Him, nothing is impossible. If you need to talk, I'm there for you.